Okay, it is about five o'clock in the evening on Wednesday, um, October 25th, I believe it is, 2017, in the lunar cycle Itotstoi, when the crater arrives, first winter moon. And I just got a message from someone uh, through Facebook who is concerned there's a sounds like a, a mule deer buck sitting in a green strip behind her house and there's a uh, condominium complex right next to there uh, with a bunch of kids and she doesn't know if the deer is injured or not now you know typically I really you know I'm asked quite often to to by people to go and work with injured deer I really don't have anything that I can do for them um, it's it would be dangerous for me to try to catch the deer and if I were able to catch it um, to wrangle it somehow uh, the deer they have a mechanism where they just pretty much start shutting down when they're caught by a predator they go into shock and their body go their life goes into shutdown and that happens when when rescue uh, folks try to capture them as well. Sometimes, a lot of times, they'll just die from the shock of, of being caught. Um, and even if they didn't die, then what? <laughs> it's not legal for me to work with the deer, uh, I don't think. I don't have a permit to work with deer, and it's not part of my, um, part of my business. Not that... Not that the law should dictate ethics to, to such extent that you wouldn't help um, something injured or, uh, or dying, or at least try to help, but I just know that the, the odds of being able to help the deer are very low. <laughs> so I think the best, when you have an injured deer situation, I think about the best you can do for it is either A, um, speed the process along and uh, make use of the deer perhaps or uh, B if you want to try to help it survive give it food um, give it water in the place where it is and just let it be so I don't know if this is going to be injured deer or not um, or if it's just going to be you know perfectly healthy so I'm going to go take a look and if he's healthy, you know, maybe I'll, I'll have him march off to a little bit of a different location. Okay. <laughs> yeah, definitely not normal behavior for a deer. Looks like he could be ready to do some damage if I want to threaten him.
most likely pretty badly injured. Yeah, so there's, again, there's not much I can do in a situation like this. <clears throat> um, probably best thing to do is to call the cops out here and shoot him. And somebody has a supply of venison. If I had a pickup truck, that'd be me. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm back home and I'm just trying to figure out what I might recommend. I'm going to message back the individual who originally reported the, the deer to me. Uh, let her know that I've checked in on it and what my thoughts are about it. Um, you know, my original impulse back there, uh, my first thought is that the best thing to do, I think, would be, just be to have the police come and shoot the animal and um, somebody make use of it. I'm not in a position to do that, so <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, but uh, I think the second best thing to do is just leave it, you know? Um, we don't know how badly it's injured, but it's definitely injured. It wouldn't be sitting there like that otherwise with me walking up on it. Um, but it's raining, it's almost nighttime. The, the chances, the odds that children in the condo complex are going to come out and play with the deer at this hour in these conditions is pretty slim I think so I'm not too worried about about children getting around him at least for the night uh, in the night he may move out you know he might pass on or he might just stay where he is and he might just still be sitting there in the morning um, but I think the morning is the time to really make that decision to make that call on what to do about the situation um, I always try to give animals like their fair shake, right? You know, unless I'm for sure going to eat them. Um, but I always like to uh, try to give them as much life as possible, as long a life as possible, because I know, you know, at least I think I would want that myself, right? <laughs> even uh, Even if I'm suffering a lot, I think... If I'm if I'm alive, I don't know. I guess it really depends on the level of suffering, doesn't it? Philosophical questions that come that arise in this kind of a context, and um, yeah, but that's my recommendation: is we leave the deer, we either eat, eat the deer or leave the deer. Um, don't just waste the end of its life, you know, just to have its body uh, thrown away as a, as a biohazard or something like that. Eat the deer or leave the deer. That's my recommendation.